Hi everyone, welcome and thanks so much for stopping in. My name is Rena, and in today's Boxes and Deals, I have a Ciate London mystery box that they had done over Black Friday. And I'm so excited because this was one of those deals that was way better than any advent calendars, as far as I know. I didn't do any advent calendars this year, so I thought it'd be fun to get a couple mystery boxes instead. And this one, here's a little sneak peek of the inside. But in this video, I'm going to show you what's inside the mystery box. Unfortunately, it is no longer available at this time, but there is another holiday box that when I checked right before filming, it was still available. The mystery box was $39. The holiday box is $49 because it has a couple extra products. They're not all the same, but I'm going to show you what's in this mystery box as well as use the products on my face. That's what I'm wearing and show you what's in the holiday box as well. If you'd like to see what's inside this mystery box and see how I used the products and what I think, please stay tuned. Okay, so for the unboxing part, here's that sneak peek. And all of this for $39. It is an amazing deal, and I love Ciate London so much. So I actually do have several products from Ciate London that I've gotten. Most of it I've gotten from Ipsy. Um, some of it I don't remember where I got it, but um, anyway. So for the unboxing part, I'm going to show you the product and then show you how I'm putting it on. So to start off, we're going to the first we get the Wonder the Watermelon Burst hydrating lip oil. I actually have so a mini of that that I received from Ipsy. I'll show you the full size, the difference in size. So we got the full size in the box and this is the size that I got from Ipsy. So this I will definitely be keeping. So I'm going to start with the lip oil and that'll kind of be my lip primer. We got three lip products in here. I love using this during the day for any time or like I'm doing now, I'm going to use it as a lip primer. So once I'm ready to put on the additional lip products, I'll just kind of blot it. But this kind of just gives it a, um, it's like a serum kind of a softening and smoothing effect while I'm applying some of the other products. But I also love using it at night as a night um, lip mask, lip treatment. There's a blend of watermelon, jojoba seed oil, and avocado oil. Delicately scented, non-tacky texture, and which is very true. Not sticky at all. It just feels more like an oil. Next, we got a mini watermelon burst primer. Um, it's a hydrating primer. So this one is a mini. And I do already have that very same size, I think also from Ipsy. So 10 milliliter. Um, so I'll keep this one in the box and save it for a giveaway. So I'll use mine. It's pretty much, it is a different texture than the lip oil. So you definitely don't want to get them mixed up. This one is a little more watery than the, um, oil but when after it absorbs it you can kind of feel a little bit of the tackiness instantly refresh and moisturize before makeup um, application with the watermelon burst hydrating primer featuring watermelon extract droplets so you'll see the little textured drops in there those just kind of what's the word disintegrate dissolve as you apply it to your skin so those watermelon extract droplets quench and hydrate. The pink jelly base actively brightens whilst refining pores. So brightening, hydrating, and pore minimizing. It's delicately watermelon scented, which right now after once applying, I don't smell it anymore. Grips foundation for long wear with added glow. Next, 
we received a product that is new to me, Dewy Bronze Glossy Cheek Tint. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. I don't have anything like it so far. Okay, it is a serum texture and it's very, you can tell, I, I put it all on the brush, but that's what's left. So it's almost like a um, hydrating gloss. I don't know how to describe it otherwise. So you could see a little bit of bronzing there, but oh my goodness, it smells like coconut. It smells like tropical. That smells amazing. Okay, I like this for all over because it's not, you could probably build it up for contour and bronzing if you want, but it's light enough that you can use it all over your face and just kind of give a, almost a bronzing glow. So next I'm gonna put on some concealer before I do the remaining products. This actually could make a nice um, additional makeup primer in place of the other primer or in addition to and because it had, does have that kind of tacky feel, but it feels like it could also absorb nicely. But at the moment, it is a little bit tacky, and I'm doing a powder next, so it's perfect. This is new to me. I went ahead and purchased because it was I needed a new foundation. Um, it's not as colored as I thought it would be. You more, you more. Uh, it's more like a finishing, a tinted finishing powder, but this is the Marbled Light foundation powder, they call it. So I thought it would be more tinted than it is, but we'll see how it works. Um, but I'll probably need a concealer as well. Illum illuminating foundation powder, and I got the shade Warm Sand. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put some concealer on and then we'll put on that foundation. I definitely wouldn't use this as a, on its own for foundation. I would say it's very light coverage. I do like the overall look combined with the products that I've used so far, the bronzing gloss, <laughs> I'd like to call it, and the primer underneath that. Next, we did receive another actual bronzer. This one is a powder bronzer and it's called Bamboo Bronzer. Now I actually already have this. It is in the shade Palm Island. So I'm gonna leave this one in the box and put that, add that to the giveaway. And this is what it looks like inside. So Palm Island, I would say, is kind of a light to light medium. Um, in the camera, it looks more warm than it does when I'm looking at it in person. To me, it looks almost more neutral. Next, we've got a Velvet Cloud Lip Powder. This is a product that I've actually been super curious about and wondered how it would work. I think I've seen it in some of the Ipsy sales. It's this tiny little square box like this. And we received this shade Blissful. And I believe they have three shades currently of this. I believe this is the darkest of the three. It's kind of a mauve. And, um, one of them's more of a nude, I think, and one of them's more of a rosy pink. Um, in person, this looks more burgundy than in the camera. In the camera, it looks brown. But I'm going to swatch it on my finger first. So not a lot picks up at a time. It kind of almost has to build up. But you can see there, it's very soft. What I'm going to try to do, it's a lip powder, but I'm going to try it on my lips, but also as a touch of powder on my cheeks to see if it'll give me a little bit of a blush cheek tint. Especially since we've got that kind of tacky um, pr 
primer going on. But yeah, it does. That's nice. So you could use this as a lip or cheek powder. Now we're going to add some to the lips, but I'm going to blot the lip oil first. Let me try using a brush and see if that helps any. It says you're supposed to be able to build up. I feel like I saw a little more color on the cheeks than I did on the lips. So I have to say for that product, I'm personally not too impressed. Um, I don't know if you just, if I'm doing it wrong or you just have to keep applying. I see a little bit of a coloring, but I didn't feel like I could build it up like I would have hoped. And then we received a dewy gloss, which I'm very excited about. This is the, the shade Charm. It's a very pale pink, but I think it goes on pretty sheer. So let's try that out. It smells good. It smells almost like um, a vanilla candy. Non-sticky jelly texture. It's a triple R complex to rejuvenate, renew, and replenish. It's unique oil gloss hybrid. Not sticky, it does feel more like an oil, but a little bit thicker than the watermelon lip oil. I love how that feels. Next, we're going to use a blush and highlighter that I already have on hand that I did received from Ipsy. This was a little mini blush. I think it was one of the marbled lights blushes in the shade Matchmaker. So we'll just add a little bit of blush to the cheek since that one didn't add a whole lot. Then we'll add some highlighter and I have the shade Starburst but that's the highlighter. It is gorgeous. Just kind of a golden champagne color. It's beautiful. Just a nice warm golden glow. I didn't use much and it's very glowy. I love it. Next we received a nine pan palette and this is one of their trend palettes and we got the bronzed and these are the shades so we've kind of got some soft pinky coral some neutrals a soft orange or peach and even a gold these are gorgeous we have three mattes and six shimmers I'm just going to do a soft, quick look with that. take my marbled lights that I already have um, and I'm using this because it was in the additional holiday box that they have still currently for sale one of these is included so we're gonna use this just kind of a highlight look I just barely touched it so it's kind of a pressed almost a creamy um, pressed powder and I'm just gonna Touch that as a highlight. Just 
just wanted you to be able to see the beautiful texture. And it has this little presser. You can repress anytime you like. Next, we got an Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. So we'll get a little extra shine. I'm gonna use this on the inner corners. You can add it all over your eyelid for an extra pop of sparkle or just the inner corners for highlight. You can add more than I did. I just gave it a soft little bit. Um, it's easy to work with and dries right away. Um, I'll have to try it over the whole eyelid another time just to see if it starts flaking. It says it doesn't. Okay, next we got Fierce Flicks in the shade Brown. Our liquid eyeliner in brown. Usually I don't use liquid eyeliners, but I do like that they gave us a different color than black. <laughs> I feel like the brown just gives it a nice, a uh, bit of a softer look. And last, we received a mini mascara, the Wonder Wand Mascara. This one I'm going to put in a giveaway because I actually have a full size mascara. It's not the same one. It is their triple shot XXL mascara. So the difference is this one says it's extra lengthening and volumizing. Whereas the Wonder Wand says it is intensely volumizing. The blackest black smudge free formula creates intense 3D volume, curl, and length with one swipe of the uniquely shaped fiber wand. So there's that. It does seem to lengthen and curl. I almost want to try the other one just to compare the two, but I don't need two of them open when I have already quite the stash. And the one product that I forgot that I was going to use because again it's in the other box that I'll tell you about in a moment. That is the watermelon um, watermelon burst setting spray. I absolutely love it. It is a bit of a heavier mist, not a super fine mist, but it doesn't it doesn't seem to spit. You know how you just get like big old droplets in one spot. It doesn't seem to do that, so that's good. I love it. So one more thing that is in the other box, just to add a little color to my lips and to show you what they're like. I they also have a um, glitter storm lipstick. I can't tell. It doesn't say what the shade is, and I know it is a purple shade, but I don't know if it's the shade cosmic, which is a kind of a light purple or this one Electra which is a deeper purple. This is Electra and it's almost a berry purple. So we're going to add a little bit of that over the gloss. I should actually use one of the other colors but I'm using this just in case it is purple, but I could be wrong. It could be the lighter purple that's in that box. So that color doesn't really go with the eye look. So I'm going to change it. Another shade that we got that I have, I mean, that they have in their store is the shade Spark. That's just one little coat. We can build it up. And the other shade they have, or another shape shade they have, is the shade Apollo, which is more of a burgundy.
So that is their metallic lipsticks that they have. I have three of them. I think they have at least six shades available. Um, one of them, again, is in the $49 box. So I'll go over the $49 box, but uh, first, real quick, I'll review what we what we got in the mystery box. It is no longer available right now, but just so that you have an idea, if they do do a future mystery box, you get an idea of what kind of things you might receive. So we got the Trend Palette in bronzed, the glossy cheek tint, the bronze, the um, dewy bronze glossy cheek tint, the watermelon burst mini primer, still in the box for a giveaway, but it looks like this. The full size watermelon burst hydrating lip oil. This is my mini that I already had. This is the full size that came in the box. We also got the dewy gloss that I absolutely love. I love that it's not sticky. It feels more like a oil, but a little bit thicker than the, than the this lip oil. Wonder, Wonder Wand Mini Mascara. Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow in the shade, I forgot to say, the shade Ice. And I just did that very lightly on the inner corners. Let me put it on my hand so you can see more built up. I didn't even think about doing that. So softer and more built up. So it looks like a silver, but it does kind of shift. It's kind of a snowy white, but it, in some lights it gives off almost a um, silver or a lavender sparkle or a pink or a blue. So it does change with the light. It's um, buffed out. We got the Fierce Flicks Liquid Eyeliner in brown. And we got the Velvet Cloud Lip Powder in Blissful. I think this was the only product that I didn't care for. The rest I love. Um, just a couple of them I happen to have on hand already. So... Oh, did I forget the bronzer? Yes, the, the bamboo bronzer in Palm Island. So that was the $39 mystery box. What they still have available, at least at the time that I'm filming, this was still available. By the way, this does not budge. Once it's dry, it stays put. All right, so they call it the Superpower Collection. It's $49. It's valued at $188, which is amazing. That, in, that includes the I Am Woman 24 shade palette, which is by itself, that's a $45 value. And the whole box is only $49. So you get the I Am Woman 24 shade palette. You get the marbled metals. Um, so just like this one that I put uh, kind of as a highlighter, this one's a rose gold, the one that comes in that box looks like looks like amethyst you get a velvet lip liner I don't have any of those and that one looks maybe cocoa I'm not sure they have three shades but I can't really tell which one it is that comes in the box you get a watermelon burst setting spray I love this you get an Everyday Vacay lip oil, so that's the coconut one. Instead of the watermelon lip oil, you would get the coconut one. You would get the Glitter Storm lip lipstick, either in the Electra, the deeper purple, brighter purple, or the softer purple called Cosmic. You would get the Wonder Wand, a mini Wonder Wand mascara, so that's one that did come in this box as well and also the Watermelon Burst Primer Mini also came in this box. So those are, the, those are the only two things that would be the same as this box. You would also get a mini Dewy Primer. So I'm assuming that one smells like coconut too, but I have a full size of that one. But I didn't do it for the video because I wanted to do the watermelon one, but you would get a mini one of those. So you would get Dewy and the Watermelon Burst. 
for the primer and you would get a plant pots nail polish it looks like it's the color mint to be so we get all of that for $49 again an amazing deal still available what did you think I'm so happy to have tried this I actually really like it a lot um, I think I like the combination if I don't if I want a lighter coverage just using this with the marbled light powder or a setting powder I like that a lot of course I love the colors of the palette just some nice warm browns of course I love any of the watermelon burst the um, lip oil the primer I love 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 probably again my favorite product out of here is this gloss I love the watermelon one too but these two okay and then I loved the bronzing gloss so those would be my three favorites out of the whole box and I love the products that I have on hand <laughs> do you have um some Ciate do you have any Ciate London products? If you do, what do you have? And what are your favorites? If not, are you interested in trying them out? That $49 box is a great way to try it out or to gift to somebody that may love makeup. Um, and that could be a great Christmas gift or just a self-care gift. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your favorite product would have been. If you had received this box, what would your favorite product have been? And have an awesome week, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!